Welcome to the Diamond Tin Ball Bigfoot Challenge. Why Bigfoot? Well, we're playing on this beautiful 5 by 10 diamond. 16 of the greatest players on the planet, and we're going to find out who is moving on to the final four between these two champions right now. First up, World Nine Ball and Tin Ball Champion, two-time U.S. Open Champion, 2014 Hall of Fame inductee, uh, shot a 900 average on the AccuStat in his open match victory. Victory endorses Mez Q Kamui from New York, USA, the Iceman Mika Eminen. His next player really needs no introduction. Five time US Open nine ball champion, two time Bigfoot champion. Defeated Dennis Hatch in his opening match victory, endorsing Q Tech USA PL Ultimate Team Gear from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. The South Dakota kid, Shane Van Boning. <laughs> Handing things over to our referee, Ken Schumann. Okay, Shane, Mika, let's lag for the first break. Good luck to both of you. The winner of this match is assured $4,000 and a place in the final four. Hey, pool fans, get ready for high-performance pool excellence here at the Bigfoot Classic. Iceman up against the South Dakota Kid. My name is Mark Wilson, and let's get an opinion from my partner for this match, Danny DiLiberto. Well, you know how I feel about Shane. I feel like he's the greatest player ever played this game. And of course, Mika just beat Orcolo. And that's a pretty good win, so you know he's up to snuff. But I feel like Shane is a little bit off lately. Yeah, he played the 845 uh, TPA, which is a little low for him, even on the 5x10. Mika, on the other hand, played a flat 900 yesterday, so playing really well. Mika's won the lag. He'll be breaking. The one, two, and three in the corners. Eight and nine right behind the one ball. They're the ones that go in the side pocket the most. $4,000 to the winner of this match. And a chance to go further. Mika pocketed something. I didn't see which one. Let's see, one, two, he did three. Make one. I guess it's the four ball. Looks like the five ball slightly blocking his access to the one. We'll find out momentarily. Maybe not. Reaches in his front pocket, grabs his chalk. Yeah, I don't think he can. Well, rail first, maybe. No, he was able to go ball first. Mika Eminen, 45 years old. Shane Van Boning, 34 years old. Well, the board said from Germany. He's from Finland. Cue ball got away. Going? Yeah, he kind of overamped it a little bit there. I don't think he can make the ball. He's going to have to kick at it. No, I think he can get it because his body language, he, he, he's a very emotional player. You can kind of tell. Kind of temperamental. So you could tell if he was dissatisfied. That oh, you're right. Mika has a powerful physique. Some tapes sometimes takes non-traditional position routes. But he uh, possesses uh, tremendous firepower and shot making. He is a great shot maker. Well, he got a little short there. I think we're going to see a three-cushion route. 
to the nine ball. Nope, he was able to hold it just with top spin. Wasn't quite as thin as I thought it was. And Mika Eminem opens with total quality. Wins the leg, breaks and runs out. Rack number one, Eminem one, Van Boning zero. Bamboning now pleased with the rack. One, two, and three in the corners. Four and seven right behind the one. Shane breaks. Mika leads one zero. Something dunked into the side. The four. Looks like Shane can cut the one ball in. Well, he's close enough to hit the paint, but it's very thin. But he's shooting it. With good control, nice shot. Kill the ball. Shane did struggle a bit in his first match. He wins 10 to 11 over Dennis Hatch. Having a hard time reaching the two ball. His tall, lanky frame, long bridge. Uh, did not get to the rail quite as well as he wanted to, so consequently this will be a longer shot than he anticipated. Chain very fit in shape, so is Mika Eminen. They're built for the long haul. Good shot there by Van Boning. He's got to hit rails here, or at least one. Made that look easy. Yeah, very nice. He did not try to overhit that, but rather cinch it, just except to get in position on the long six rather than try to get to the short side of this. That was good judgment. I think he'll just follow out one rail, play the, try to play the eight in the corner. Yeah, I think he's got to hit the rail. No problem. This has been quite a contrast to the previous match because <laughs> looks like we're going to start off with two break and run outs to start this match. The last match started off a little sluggish. Man Boning collects the routine 10 ball. Our score is now tied at one game apiece. Flawless pool on display.
Okay, we get a chance to look at Eminem's break yet again. Mika breaks one one. Just to the left of the head spot, Mika locks down on the break. Got the heel of his hand on the bed of the table. Did not overhit it, but it's going to be a dry break too. He's disappointed. Well, Ben Boning's got a shot. It's a thin hit on the one. Looks like about all he can do is go back and forth across the edge of the table and cut the two into the side. Yeah, try not to hit the eight. That will not help. Hard to tell if that's what he has in mind. Yes, it is. Back and forth. Louie's going to be a little thinner than I think he really hoped to be on this two ball. What a little work getting to the three. Can he roll it in? Run into the uh, six. Six. Yeah, that or it might just slip past it and catch the six on the way back out. Oh, beautifully executed shot there. Good position. Three to the four. Yeah, the six and nine are going to be a little problem down the way, but I think he has a carom or billiard shot onto the nine from the six if he wants it. Out of the five years we've held this event, Shane Van Boning has won it twice. Jason Shaw has won it twice, and Dennis Arcolo has won it once. Arcolo and Shaw have already been eliminated, so they will not be repeating for sure. Van Boning won five U.S. Opens. That is remarkable. I saw the first one. First time he came to a tournament, he won the U.S. Open, 50,000 first place. And he's been doing stuff like that ever since. Looks like he's queuing low, like he wants to attack the six ball. No, three cushions around. No, that could have been disaster if he ran into it. But what is he going to have if he gets over the eight? Oh. Disappointment, looks like. That'll hinder him a little. Yeah. All ball fouls. This event is a single elimination event. Races to 11. Alternate the break. No jump cues. The 10 does not win on the break. It's not call shot. I think he was studying the combination. Yep, that's what he's shooting. Well, the carom under the nine, you mean? I don't think the combination's no. even viable. Well, maybe. If he's playing, I don't like the carom. I think he's got a shot at the combination. That's what he was aiming at. Yeah. It looks, from my position, looks so awkward. I think he should play safe if it's down to that. Oh, but. I don't think so. He's going to make this. No, he isn't. He's going to make, no, he's not. He's going to sleep in the street. He was trying to play safe and uh, did not hit it well at all. Wasn't even close. He definitely wasn't playing the combination because it didn't even come close to cutting it enough. He just hit it right where it was aimed. And Mika doesn't mind that.
Miki just wants to get the cue ball back to the center of the table here. Two cushions he chooses. He was waiting for the announcements to get down. Well, they called his name for a different table. Oh, he missed the 10. Might have broke his rhythm. Yeah. They called his name to play a bank pool match. Mika was upset. And yeah, then he, he followed up with badly, a miss. But he left a tough shot. I don't know. Shane might be banking at this. I don't see a good save. to be a pretty shot. Double kissed Double it. Double kissed it. Hello, side pocket. <laughs> no. Yeah, he didn't hit that bank too well. Well, it was off the end rail. Oh, I understand, ways. but don't double kiss it. At least give it a chance to go. I know it was top. Okay, two to one, Eminem. He's pointing it out to the spook team to hear his name on the loudspeaker. Mika is definitely the more temperamental and emotional of the no top, doubt top about players. It. A lot of things will annoy him. It's kind of like the eccentric artist that can paint beautiful pictures, but uh, has little idiosyncrasies that they're peculiar and odd. Well, two years ago at Turning Stone, Shaw beat him in 21 minutes, and he handled well, that, that beat because <laughs> it was painless. <laughs> yeah. Two to one, Eminem leading, Van Boning breaking. It's not as good break. Looks like it's a dry break. Three, six, ten, yes. Does Mika have rail first shot here? Then the cue ball's going to be lost. That's what he looks like he's shooting. Yeah. Good shot. That was a little half mass A. He curled right, right around there nice. Got the two. Little tricky position. Think he can go one rail without hitting anything. That would be ideal if you can avoid hitting the five. Five ball looks to be the impediment. If not, then he's going to have to do something special. He might go two cushions back to the center of the table on the other side of the five. Yep, that's what he's going to do. Good speed, too. Yep, just accept this. Very good shot. Mika currently resides in the Billiards Hall of Fame, along with you, Danny. Shane Van Boning will be there soon enough. The problem is he's only 34 years old and you have to be 40. Right. He's a definite chewing. Plays for Team Europe. And has lived the last 20 years in New York City. Well, here's the decision. Does he stay on the low side of the six and play the six to the furthest corner pocket from it? Does he try to get on top of it with draw? And take the lowest. Oh, good stroke there. Oh, look at this. He's got to spin forward to miss the eight. Can't you shoot it? He'll bounce into the eight, but I think center right-hand English soft. I think he can pass the eight.
No, he went the other way and missed. Yeah, I liked my shot better. I thought he could handle that, but look what happened. Oh, boy. How do you get position here? You almost have to think about safety here. You do. Cut the uh, six on the right side and go one rail past the nine, I believe. At least distance. Whatever you do, distance. You can't shoot this. No reward shooting it. <laughs> Shane's is dissatisfied. He recognizes that everything's tough here. Yeah, you know, he looks like he's playing my shot. Not right away. <laughs> oh, he played it. He figured, I'll play this, I'm, I'll play it safe off the next ball. I think, what's he gonna do here? He's not shooting. <laughs> Is he kicking at it? I can't tell right now. Yeah, it's a, yeah, I shouldn't ask you, that's not fair. It's super hard to decide what he's going to do. Oh, ball first. Look out, corner pocket. It's going in. Nice shot with ball in hand. He can want to get to the side pocket. He did so. advantage of a four ball run out with ball in hand. He now leads three games to one over Van Boning. Folks, we want to see that scratch again on Van Boning. I think. <laughs> Have to try to get that later, Danny. This is rack number five, Mika Breaks, leading three to one. One, two, and three in the corners. Four and eight right behind the one. Powerful break. Yeah, squared him up good. There's a ball in the corner pocket. The five ball went in. We're going to see the scratch again. Okay. Seven and nine tied up a bit, but maybe it's, uh, he can play the nine. That's what he's looking at right now. Yeah, it looks at can... least throwable if it's not straight in. Right. Our opening match today was Roberto Gomez over Joshua Filler. Gomez won the $4,000, plus the chance to go further. Next stop will be $8,000, and the last stop is $16,000.
Good shot there by Eminem. Real good. Gomez will play the winner of this match. I guess tomorrow. Yep. A lot more 10 ball action to come today. Well, you got a little funny here. If the ball is dead, he's going to have to go around the table to get to it. The 7 o'clock match tonight, Danny. Fyodor Gorst versus Jeffrey DeLuna. Gorst is a 17-year-old that shocked the pool world the last two years here by beating Appleton and Pagulion. He's from Moscow. And the final match of the day will be John Mora versus Ruslan Chinnikov. Good cut shot there by Mika, but I don't think it led to perfect position. Have to be a shot maker here, which is his forte. Yeah, he's got the side pocket. And if the nine is dead, he won't have to do much but make the ball here. It's a good shot. Which he did. And apparently the ball is dead. And when we say dead, that means it's, we also use the term wired, <clears throat> but it's straight in the pocket. Well, he's hesitating. Maybe it's not. Right? Don't you get up and shoot it if it's dead? Yeah, I think you said it right. I think he has to throw it a little bit, which means the cue ball will have to hit the left side of the seven. No problem. Oh, he good secondary object ball control, too, the seven. That was by design, not random chance. Cruz is home the eight. Routine nine or ten ball now is all that uh, stands between Eminem and a four to one lead. It's got that. I believe that was a break and run out, Danny. Yes, it was. So that's kind of like double punishment for the scratch that the Van Boning created. He left a four ball run out with ball in hand, and then Eminem took advantage of that circumstance by creating a run out of his own. Sixth rack, Shane breaks. Mika leads 4-1. Took Q something ball. off. And dunked into the side pocket. Right. Directly. That's always on the player. Well, like I said, I don't think Shane is Shane lately. Maybe just a little bit of burnout, I would say, Danny. Could be, but he kept intensity for 10 years. That, that I admire. Tough to do that in a sport. Especially with the fields. You know, this is getting like golf. A whole bunch of players that can win. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you certainly make a good point. A lot of quality of play, particularly from the European countries. Yep, you're right. He hit that ball on the full side just to control the angle. Now he's going to draw the ball, but avoid the side. Which he did. Got good on the four.
Yeah, Shane's going to have to rely on an open miss here if he wants to shoot this game. Yeah, in this format, you can't get four games behind with alternate break because you're not going to join the racks together. You've got to wait for the other guy to miss. Yeah, very hard to do. Last night we did have it done, though. The Chinnikov came back on Corey Duell. The Chinnikov was down, I believe, 10-6. Big, powerful draw. Oops. Got a little tricky. I think he's okay. Well, I'd rather be shooting if I were him, but he's not really great okay. Did he get past the nine? No, that's mm. why I didn't think he mm. was okay. Well, this is what Shane was relying on. That was all he had. Couldn't control the outcome of anything else. Nice man looks up in the sky. But he attacks this like it's, it still goes, I think. Yeah. No, it doesn't. His wallet goes. Yes. He, Man's disappointed about that. It is because you know you you're playing Shane. You got to win every game you're supposed to. Some that you're not. Shane is happy about this. Where are you going? Well, he wanted to get to the side. Now he might have to shoot it in the corner, with difficult position. Nice shot there. Very good. Van Boning scrapes back a game. Trails 4-2. That's a big difference than 5-1. Mika knows it. Shane does too. But now if you're Mika, you got to forget that. You can't take it into your next inning. That's over forever. Well, he went and swished his cue into the pocket to jiggle the eight ball. Seventh rack, Mika breaks, he leads 4-2. Okay, and then breaking now. Four and eight, right behind the one ball. Those are the ones that we see go in most often. The cue ball gets kissed in. Mika will really be upset. <laughs> that really wasn't his fault that time. He's going to point it out. He wants the audience to know oh, that actually yeah. isn't him. He's a much better player than what the table's allowing him to portray. Meanwhile, Shane comes to the table with another good scoring opportunity. Going between the eight and the six. Good shot. Drew it out to the other angle so he wouldn't have to negotiate through the clutter of balls. Two cushions. He can come back with draw here, just one cushion. Try to get to the side pocket. Little short. Came up a little short. Wasn't terrible, though. 
it's not terrible, but it isn't like automatic now. Now you got to work a little. It's going to hit the end rail and go one rail to the five. Did it nicely. Hmm. Is he going to get on the 6 7 combination or is he going to try to play the 6 past the 10 into the corner pocket? I guess the, rather the combination is not great, so it's better no, off. I don't like the combination. Better slow down. Didn't. Well, the ball goes past the 10. Gonna hit the seven, I believe. No, I think he'll draw past it and come back out one rail. Good call, Mark. You're just, playing very well. It was just thin enough that that was gonna be. If he made the ball, it wouldn't hit the seven. If he hit the six ball too heavy, then he could have. Shows the corner pocket for cue ball control. Good decision. Could use a stop shot here on the eight. That would be fine. I think or so. I think he's going to draw it into the rail. One rail. No, you were right. You're playing very well, Mark. Well, I've watched these games a lot with you over the years, so. They go for an economy of cue ball travel whenever possible. Just draw back a little bit here. Now he's going forward. That's perfect. And this will keep the fuse lid on the Mika Eminen's emotions. Shane comes back, picks up another game. Trails in the match four games to three. Mika failed to get position with... Uh, Three balls left on the table. Van Boning got that game. Then Mika inadvertently scratched on the break. Shane got that one. The score switched around from what was potentially going to be 5-1 to one imminent in front to 4-3. Van Boning trailing. Very much alive and breaking. Shane is an outdoorsman. He does a lot of fishing. Yeah, he finds great uh, solitude in that. Ice fishing, no less. I couldn't think of anything worse. I would like a boring sport would, and freeze. I wouldn't ice fish. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's got to be 85 degrees to go fishing. All right, here we go. Four and six right behind the one ball. Shane scratched on his last break, too. He didn't this time, though. Look really at the squared control him up. of the cue ball. Looked like the six ball found the pocket, or the seven. I guess it was the seven that went in. He's got a shot on the one. Mika has flipped his wrist around a couple times, indicating that he is feeling abused and misfortunate. Yeah. Well. He's now in the same position that uh, Shane was a little bit ago, where he's kind of at the mercy of Shane missing something or making a mistake. He's, that's all he can hope for. Shane laid that one in there real nice. Very smooth cueing action. Good control there. I've often said it, I really have utmost respect for Shane as a person, even beyond his pool game as I got to know him better. Yeah, he's, he's a very nice man. A little higher quality than you generally find. 
he'll call a foul on himself, and he's respectful of the sport and uh, his fellow uh, pool player. I admire that about him. Did a lot of gambling with Billy and Cardona. Well, he's got a work ethic that surpasses American pool players, too. I know. At the U.S. Open, I got up four in the morning. He was on the table practicing. Every angle is just kind of tricky. It's just slightly off angle. And the 10 is in the way. Looking at just minimizing any cue ball travel and cutting the six in rather than trying to work the cue ball closer. Elected to go forward and back up. Perfect. Great control there. This is a guy that Danny DiLiberto thinks might be the best pool player he ever saw. My opinion, he is. And he mm. learned so quickly. He didn't know how to play one pocket, and he got very good at that. That's quite a testimonial. You've been around for a while and seen a lot of the greats. I played them all. I think this guy is the best player ever. Routine nine ball, down to the end rail and back up. Greg Sullivan of Diamond Billiards stands in the arena and watching. Pretty nice crowd. <laughs> Terrific time for a break and run out by Shane Van Boning. That's his second of the match. Our score is tied 4-4. It's been an enter entertaining match thus far. Well played. One of the players' TPAs. Eminent at 854. Van Boning just over 900 at 907. That's a little more the way we were used to watching Shane play. And Eminent was having more fun a half hour ago. He was. He was really enjoying himself. Just to the right of the head string, waste no time. Seven and eight, right behind the one. Is this going to be a dry break? I think so. So Eminem has scratched once and has two other dry breaks. That will not uh, sit well at all. Well, if he didn't hit the three, he had him snookered. Not that he sold out. We're going to see another safe here. Right. Unreasonable to try to bank the shot because you really can't assure yourself a position. Plus, Eminem, it's a tough shot. And Eminem will choose safety. Decent result there. Real hard for Shane to defend himself, although he, we expect him to hit the one. Good. Solid impact on the one, so it's a legal hit. And Shane left it mighty tough. Well, he's got a bank, but I don't know if he's going to shoot that. No need to. 
He's going to measure it, though. Oh, I don't like the bank because tough to get position. Oh, he's looking at the two rail bank as a primarily a safety play as opposed to a expect to get it type play. <laughs> he's in kind of a predicament here. Well, he has made up his mind. Is he playing the two railer? He, no, he went all out for the one rail. What a shot that was. Great shot. Look, he worked the cue ball back. He didn't have to sell out with such a good hit. Man. Good choice, good accuracy. That was a world-class shot there. That was from nowhere near a routine bank. And when you do it against a world-class player in a big tournament, it's an extra good shot. <laughs> yeah. Well, Eminem, desperate to create a little momentum back on his side of the page, and has done so by taking something that was a, I consider making a bank shot from almost nowhere. Slow down or go faster. He's okay. One rail to <laughs> the eight. No, but you made some drama in there. Yeah, he cruised it right in there for the eight. Pocket. Eminem has the lead again. Five games to four. Along the way here, we have great fans. You meet special guys. We have one here all the way from Jupiter, Florida. His name's Ken Lee. Real cool guy. Met him over the years at the U.S. Open. Glad you're here. Proud to know you, Ken. Uh-oh. Oh, it was going in the hole. It was, too. He got a last-second kiss. He didn't get the shot on the one, but he really can't complain. Yeah, it could have been a disaster. Well, you mentioned Jupiter. We used to have a ring game once a week in the pool room in Jupiter. Go one rail behind the six, I believe. Good shot. Okay, I'm going to just kick and hit it now. Uh oh. Oh, we're going to see temperament now. Yeah, that was one that you fully expect him to hit. I did. He expected to hit it, too. Yeah.
Shane, good shot there. One rail transfer to the center of the table to get on the four now. Right about to where he is now. Mm -hmm. Every one of these shots will be to the center of the table. The three, the four, and then the six. Sailor always told me, whenever in doubt, head for the center of the table. Good angle. He's kind of in the betwixt of the one rail or two rail. Two rails plays easier, but it's a little flat for that, perhaps. And it takes a moment to look and see about the seven in the side rather than the corner. Yeah, he's right in the middle of that. He's going to end up going two cushions, though. Nope, three cushions. Uh, I don't think his speed's good here, Danny. If he hits the ninth pole, it is. <laughs> yeah. That I don't think fantastic. he was. The people are applauding, but I don't think he was playing to hit the nine. I think he was playing to get to the side and the other side. We'll never know. Good shot there. Checked it up with inside English. Got to the long rail. It deadened the pace out of the cue ball and allowed it to creep along the same side of the table back towards the eight. Another good confident stroke. Well, this is world-class pool. 5-5 five, five is our score. Ramboni pocketed the ball on the break, despite the fact he almost scratched. But a good safety. Eminen then had a very routine one-rail kick, which he failed to hit. And then Van Boney took advantage of ball in hand. You know, he's got a hearing impediment. And about a year ago, two of the players were talking about him a ways away. And he went over them and said, I read lips. Oh, yeah. Definitely. There's our rack track. Rack traded 11. the first two games, then three, three five, each five. way, and then traded the game. Seven ball in the pocket. Eminent has a shot on the one. The three is going to require some special attention. Well, I think he can get like almost where he is now on the two. And then he can go one rail to the three in the left hand corner. Right. That's yeah. what he's looking at. He's got a chance to do that. That's what he did. Got an easy shot and a perfect angle. Going to grab his extension.
Yeah, that's a good speed. shot. Yeah, yeah, wasn't it? Fired that in. And just fell. Uh, the cue ball just flowed over to where it needed to be. And the science of that shot was getting this angle of Paul there. That was the best part. Now he's got a great angle to get on the five perfectly. Six in the side. I figured we're going to see a lot of great play here, and they're both technicians, and I could tell the people, watch these two play, and you'll learn something. Well, I'm more of an advocate of going to the corner pocket with this, coming around two cushions as opposed to the side. But You got the good angle to do it. Yeah, he's going to need it. Oh, he's got the angle to go to the eight. There it is. Well played. Top spin out, one rail. Yet another break and run out for Eminem. Fourth time in this match. He leads it six games to five. Got to see a lot of great stuff on this 10-foot table. We always talk about this is my favorite event of all the uh, Derby City Classic events. Bamboni playing in a 9.25 clip. Eminem, 8.84. Ball went in, a couple balls went in. I don't think Shane got much of a shot, though. No, I think you're going to see him roll straight up and freeze on the six ball. It's hard to tell because on the overhead here, it looks like he doesn't have a shot. And then when I look at the table, it looks like he does have a shot. I don't think he does. Oh, he does. He's going right oh, after. Oh, look at it. Wasting yeah. any time. Boy, you're right. I was blind to that. No, it didn't look like it here, but then when you look at there, and then I could tell by his body language, when he just bends over, he's feeling like he's got this. Well, why didn't you tell me, Mark? I tried to. You weren't listening. I was talking. You no, were... sorry. Listen, when I'm interrupting, don't <laughs> talk. <laughs> I will try to refrain. That five ball looks weird. He's looking at the five nine in the corner. It's close. Yeah, it's a long ways away though, so a lot of things can happen. So far, I really love this match because Everybody is playing with control. Mm hmm Yeah, it's really been a fun match to watch. 
Oh, I think he was playing for the combination. He may end up having to play safe now. I he's, think so because he's close range. I think he can do it. Oh, he didn't get him. I think he did, didn't he? No. No, he didn't. No, I could tell by his no, body. He's at least left the bank. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. I think Mika will be shooting the bank. He's super disappointed about this. Oh, he didn't make the bank. He rushed it. Yeah, he I didn't think he's so well. <laughs> Mika stalks, flips his wrist up as if to say, I just gave it away. I don't think so. I think. Oh, I think he, Mika thinks he can back cut this into the side then. I think so too, but he doesn't. He's kicking. <laughs> See, the other shot you saw it went, I, I didn't. Right. Now I thought this one goes and it doesn't. He overcut it. But I think he's going to get a pretty good leave. Yeah. Wouldn't you? Yeah, that's not bad. Have to really dice that ball to cut it across into the corner. What a shot that was. A tremendous shot. It looked easy. <laughs> right? Yeah, he made it look easy for sure. Yes. Well, that's the powerful shot making we talked about in the uh, initial portion of the match with Mika Eminen. Now what? A little defense. See, and he got, he got him. I believe he got him. Shane could overcut the six ball. That would be great, but it looks like he has to kick. Kick with velocity. And, the six he, ball found the pocket. And so did the seven for position. Boy, that was a great break. Well, like we used to say, it pays to hit him. Yeah. See, he didn't want to walk. That's why he played this position. As Shane scores the 10 ball, that match our match tied at six games apiece. Talking about walking, you know how far you walk? In an eight-hour session of nine ball? 11 miles. Right. You heard me before, I think. <laughs> you cheated. I did. We have did a lot of broadcasts together over the years. Yeah, only about 200 of them. Yeah, probably. I bet we have. Yeah, folks, I put a thing on my foot. In an eight-hour session of nine ball, you walk 11 miles. So you got to be in condition to play this game. Eminem breaking, tied six games apiece. Got okay, a little top spin, a little side spin. Uh oh. He's not going to be happy with this. Not at all. Spanks his shaft on the table to let the table know that it misbehaved. He's clocking the path. The cue ball is going to go off of the one. But it's going to be tough to get on the two. Right. He's a lot of to, obstructions. We have to go around the five, between the three and seven, and right at the four with the proper speed and create the angles. Well, with everything you just said, I'm already confused. Oh, he's going to go around the five, in between the seven and three. And have the cue ball trail right at the four, but that takes a lot. You got to hit the right part of the pocket to get this to happen. Too That's hard. what he's trying to do. Too hard. A little bit too hard, Mark. Yeah. Yep. 
I have to kick it at the side and down table and hope the cue ball does not scratch off the edge of the two. It didn't. Well, he's That's a great up. shot. Yeah, he left the shot, though. But anyway, Mark, yes. if you're going to describe the shot, yes. do it softer. Oh. Okay. It went too far. Oh. Okay, everybody, the players are going to take a brief break. We will be right back. Okay, everybody, we are back. Eminence turn at the table. The two ball is the ball that he's going after. Tough shot, tough position. Now, Eminence sometimes when he gets back in his back to a corner, he'll just fire away at balls like this. And it's uncanny how many of them he makes. Well, I don't think he's a big underdog to make the ball, but you can't get position like that. Now he's got to hope for the backdoor safety. It didn't turn out too terribly bad. Well, he's going to have to do a kick, I believe, after this shot. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Shane will have to play a safety and then try to defend himself. He's another guy that whatever he decides, you know it was the right thing. My opinion. Well, Shane's going after something here. I don't know if he's cutting at this ball or what. He yeah. is. Look at that shot. Okay. That he was reasonable. He cut it beautifully. Reasonable effort because he knows that, that if he does score that ball, it leads to a potential run out. And there's a good likelihood that he gets safe if he overcuts it. Kind of an awkward ball to kick at. He's a little reverse. He hit it anyway. And he snookered him. Mm, good outcome. Eminent flexes his muscle. Up. Yeah, he deserves one, though. I mean, Shane did luck a ball in there moments ago, so. To give him two cushions, yeah. Yeah. Look where this ball's going. Well, he left it long and over the top of the nine. I think the nine is in the way. But if he makes this, he's going to get position. <laughs> oh, what a fire. Drill it like a bullet. Straight shot, but he didn't get rewarded. Unless you want to shoot the bank, but how do you get position? Yeah. I think Mika will shoot the bank, but... What are you going to do with the four? He's got to draw with low right and come around the five and try to get back to the side, I guess. All too complicated. Uh, oh, I agree. I, I, <laughs> I think it's impatient if you shoot the bank shot here. Unless you play it just to play safe off the four. Oh. So you fire at the bank, and now you're... He can fire at the bank again. Or the nine ball. I mean, uh, just too many iffy shots here. Even if he gets out, I just don't think it's the right play. I think he's banking this. No, he played the combination. <laughs> I don't like the stroke he used. It was a one stroke. No warm-up. Yeah, not much of a pause before he delivered it. Sold it out. Just... Desperation, impatience. Uh, sometimes he makes it work when he's on. That stuff works. But when it doesn't, now look at the golden opportunity you extend to Shane here in a tied match at the midpoint. Now, where does the six go? Well, it probably doesn't. But Shane will have a chance to work at, the, work at getting near it anyway.
Well, it does go in the corner where this ball goes. So between the seven and nine, what a pretty position play that was. I did not see that at all. Apparently he goes in the side too, Danny. Think so? I think that's where he's going with it. I'm not sure. Oh, perfect. Tremendous shot there. Look at that. Look at Floating the speed. In. That changed the dynamic of the rest of this rack. Now he'll go two rails to D8. Good speed. Really good speed. Shoot the eight and nine in the same pocket. Oh, great speed here. And beautiful shooting there by the South Dakota kid, but maybe a little uh, hasty judgment there by the Iceman to allow Shane to have such a good opportunity. Iceman was playing aggressive and trying to push the issue. Maybe took on a little bit too much challenge. He now has to pay for that. Falls behind seven games to six. Van Boning will be breaking. This is where it gets a little scary, too, because <clears throat> Van Boning's got that type of break where he can maybe, you know, just break and run out the rest of the set every time he comes to the table. Van Boning's already broken and ran out twice in this match. Him and then four times. Ooh, the cue ball. He's going in the other pocket. Oh, it didn't scratch, but he did not hit it with the patented bamboning break. Shane's laughing because the five got tied up on the one ball. Mink Me is starting to show emotion. Yeah, he's not laughing. And if he is, he doesn't mean it. Think he's kidding if he's laughing? I don't think he's laughing. No, I don't think he's. Yeah, I definitely don't think he's thinking it's humorous. Yeah, he's trying to figure out strategy here. I don't know any. You certainly can't push out. Well, he's going to push out. But you're not going to get the best of it. Nope. I agree, but. I think Shane's banking this and then trying to stun the cue ball across right where his bridge hand is now. He's going to fire it in case he misses. Nope. Playing safe. Oh, great shot. One. Wow. Very heady. Well, he can hit it. He right. didn't snooker him, but he hit it great speed. This is what I always tell people. You don't have to snooker the guy. Distance will win. That's a nice shot. Eminem retaliates with a real good response to the safe. Oh, he can't even hit it. He went behind the eight. Oh, we're going to see a kick here.
Nope, Shane's sizing it up. I guess the decision is, can he half mass A to hit it, but he won't get much separation, or does he want to kick a couple rails at the one? Try to get a little more pace into it. Half He's mass kicking a. one rail. No, I think it's half mass juice. A. juice. No, you were right. And he didn't Too much get him. juice. That was such a tough kick that I really liked putting the six onto the seven and tie up those three and let them go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that call. That would have gave you your best chance. The kick was, even if you hit it, you're going to get the worst of it. Good point. You had to make a heck of a hit to probably lose anyway. Well, I like shooting the combination. One nine, get the nine out of there. And the one's not going anywhere. Well, he hasn't decided yet. Maybe he's going to try to get him on three. Tough to do. Yeah, I'm not an advocate of that. You have ball in hand now, and the balls are manageable. They're oh, he picked easy. up the nine. That's a foul. Oh, boy. <laughs> now, uh, hold it. Ken's got to replace the nine the best that he knows how. <laughs> boy. What an unusual <laughs> occurrence there, that Danny. Is, it really is. But again... It's almost like letting them run out. Has to run out. Yeah, he picked up the nine. Folks, you know why he picked up the nine? Because it's half white. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mark says, mm -hmm. No, it's true. I mean, he It was, is true. He only saw the white part. He just glanced. He was so consumed with the distribution of the balls and how he was going to go about playing them. Just a little mental error. <laughs> well, so far, that's the only time someone did that in the whole tournament. Uh-oh. Oh, my. Never a doubt. <laughs> I thought he overcut it for sure, Danny. Never a doubt. <laughs> we've we've seen other players pick up the wrong ball before in our practices and matches. Not this and tournament. Boardrooms. Not this tournament. No, I don't mean that. But I'm just saying it's not that it never happened. But pretty rare. Yeah, that was a rarity. That's a good shot. Very productive. Yep. Five to the six, no problem. He got maybe just a little straight here. He's got to be well, mindful. He's got he's to roll it in or hit the jack up and stop. Hit the proper part of the pocket with this one. He's going to have to hit the thin side. No soft speed and thin side. Yeah, I thought oh, that what a was shot. That was a really, really good shot. You can see where the cue ball landed. If he doesn't hit the thin side of the pocket, he doesn't, he doesn't get this angle. It maybe gets behind the 10. I think when Mika picked up the 9, he should have used it as the cue ball and shot something. <laughs> I think it was pointed out a little too quickly. Yeah, Shane got right up. Oh, he missed the ball. Huh. Well, That's it's, rare. It's he didn't a, even come close. But listen, anyway, Nick is not going to pick up the nine this time. He overcut that ball. So that means if he would have hit the eight fuller, the cue ball would have been back further. He wouldn't even have had a shot at the nine. That was a very, I think Shane didn't want to play it the way it needed to be played. He needed to stay on the other side of the side pocket with top spin. And I noticed when he was queuing low. So two major mental errors in this rack. Well, maybe Shane felt sorry about calling a foul. 
I don't know about that. No, Ken Schumann saw the foul anyway. I think you go three rails here. So does he. Powerful shot. People like well to done. go two rails and the sides enter the factor. Yeah, quite a turn of events here now. We're tied at seven. Oh, Mika, you tricked him. Yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of good shots in that rack and then a couple of mental errors that changed the outcome. We're tied now. Eminem will be breaking. Rack 15, Mika breaks, 7-7. Seven, seven. All right, here we go. Race to four. Eight ball in the pocket. Three ball, maybe. No. But he has a shot. Got a good shot. Does the two pass the nine? Well, he took a little glance at it as if to... He didn't examine it too long, so apparently it does. Getting the cue ball there now, that's another deal. This looks to be one of those kind of in-between strokes because you got to manufacture an angle to get deep into the corner here. He didn't get deep enough. He's going to snooker himself is what he's going to do. I think he can hit the edge of it. No, maybe not. Yeah, maybe he can, maybe not. It's hard to tell. Yeah, apparently he can because he's examining it. Oh, he almost made the two. <clears throat> Well, even if he can make this, he's going to have trouble getting to the three. Here comes a mass A. He's not going to get position anyway. 45 degrees. If he goes rails first, rails first, he could. Wow. He did. He got position, but the two forgot to fall. Well, he hit it good. Can't complain about that effort. A lot of freaky stuff has happened lately. Mm -hmm. I mean, they would like to go rail first. No, he can hit it thin enough. Well, he didn't get real good on this. But position for the four is not tough. Got to make the ball. He's got some clutter in the way, though. And if he doesn't try to draw no, behind he, it, then he, he can scratch. He could avoid the clutter. He okay. could avoid he the clutter. He can scratch, too, if he... Okay. Golden. Pretty good. See Bruce Lynchinikoff watching here in the crowd in the background. Yeah, he's playing the next match, isn't he? Oh. Thought he was playing the last match of the day, but that Probably will double you might check. Be right. Deluna and Gorst in the next match, and then it'll be Chinnikov and Moore in the last match. Good shot there by Eminem. Feather the cue ball down there nice. 
Seven in the corner. Perfect. Here we go, 8-7 now, Eminem in front. Rack 16, the chains break, Mika leads eight to seven. Five and nine, right behind the head ball. The cue ball has top spin on it. The five ball found the side pocket. The cue ball went to the wrong end of the table and this is just unlike Shane. Because he even took a lot of pace off of that break and let the cue ball get away. Me, he miss hit the break. Forced to push out. Eminem would be facing some type of a defensive play. He doesn't want to play safe. I think he'll give it back. I think he can bank it to one. Figures the snooker him, and if he makes it, he's got a shot. You know, if you're going to sell out with a bad save, go ahead and shoot. Well, he can give it back. He doesn't have to shoot at all. It was a push out. Yeah, I don't like this. Not bad, though. I don't think the one goes by the two, does yeah, it? Maybe not. If that's the case, then. Uh, not a bad shot at all. I still think he should have passed it back, though, no matter how it turns out. Just because it wasn't any good until right at the end. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Yeah, you, you probably would have told him not to pick up the nine. Oh, he got him. Yeah, that yeah, was a good return. He, Shane was able to hit the one full enough to bank it four rails. He clipped off a couple of balls. Meek is coming off a great win, beating Ocola. Tough guy to beat. One of the contenders. Good hit. Good hit, but no good result. It's a good challenge here to pocket this ball. All right. Speed is to roll it softly, but how do you control it? But you know he's shooting at it. Yeah. I think you roll it. Looks like he's attacking the three ball with the cue ball here, the way he's queuing up. He was. What's going to happen here? Yeah, he thought he was going to hit the three. If he hits the two full, he's going to like it. Nope. <laughs> oh. Well, he made a good stroke, though. We're going to see a save. Definitely. Cut at the two and put the cue ball long and maybe behind the nine. 
the seven. Good camera work there. Great, beautiful colors too. Good shot. Boy, that was a good attempt. The main thing is distance, folks. Yeah, you, you have the inclination to want to just go super soft at the two and try to get them the two on one side of the ten and the cue ball on the other, but that that so often never works out, and you absolutely give it away when it doesn't. That these guys really refrain from playing shots at super soft speed from this distance. Just gonna fire at the ten. And rearrange the furniture there, and no worse for wear. That was a rare kind of shot. Yeah, Mika saw no way out other than just go for some good fortune. Well, he hit it full, and he knew he was going to leave the two there. That's what he was doing. And you knew the ten ball was plenty hot coming around there. Could have gone in a couple ways. Tough shot to play safe on. Oh boy, beautiful hit. Not yeah. really tough. Really, that was a great hit. It was tough, but look yeah, at it. that was a great hit there. That's world class pool. The people appreciate it. That was one of those in-between strokes, Danny, to get that cue ball to get over there. That was a long way to get to the four, and then the speed was just right on the two. That's much harder than a long straight-in two ball to hit. Paul, what's he looking at here? I'm not sure. He's going to have to mass it one rail to hit it. Not sure what he was measuring there. He's trying to Z it in there. Look at that hit. Wow. Yep. That was a great shot, too. Except he left the bank. <laughs> well, in, the, the outcome yeah, the immaterial. The outcome, but it was a good hit. You're My right. Goodness. Shane will bank out here. <laughs> I just find that fascinating. He did not belabor that. I thought he could go one rail, but clearly not. What Ooh. happened? I'm not Shane sure. jumped up. I think he was asking Ken, did he want to come and watch this? Looks like Shane has to stiffen up the bank just a little bit. I don't mean to Very make. little. Yeah, Very little. I'm not it's trying to indicate in. that it's it. straight in. He'll make this. Yeah, good shot. People love when you bank it, even if it was an easy bank. Great control there. This has been a tremendously uh, interesting rack. It, it is. The whole match has been interesting. Ooh, he kind of poked that one a little bit. Poked it perfectly. <laughs> yeah, he did. I'm just saying, it seemed like he really stilted the end of the follow through there. It almost looks like Shane's picking up pace here, like he wants to get some momentum going. Well, the match is starting to look like Hill Hill. We foresee no problems from here on in. This could be a tied match at eight apiece. Good game there. This is really fun. <laughs> 
seeing all the different dynamics play out. Eminem grabbed the wrong ball at one point. Still won the rack. Despite the fact that Eminem lost the game, he made the kick shot of the day there. He with did. That <laughs> Z thing. Direct 17. Tamika's break. The match is tied at eight. And just uh, breaking from just right of the head spot. Brace to three. And something found the side pocket. Is he going to get a shot? Looks like he is. Pretty open layout. Does the one go by the six? The seven, seven. yeah. The yeah, seven. I think it does. Maybe not, though. Here on the overhead, it doesn't look like it, but... Yeah, he's over here measuring. He He's thinking he's about banking. The bank. He's Didn't he learn his lesson on the last one of these? If he does this, then you're betting the entire game on this shot. I think the seven is in the way. No, I... Well, oh, for the bank. No, he's yeah. going super soft. That's why I say he's... No? I was wrong. He bet the game on that bank. He does have unconventional shots. You know, I mean, the, like the kick shot that we talked about. Even there. Tackling that bank. <clears throat> this is a road map right here. This would be his fifth break and run out in the match if he was able to complete it. That's hard to beat. Yeah, I wouldn't bet that he doesn't complete it. What a genius I am, right? They're all well, in the hole. We, but we know a lot of things happen, So, but you're right. He's playing very well. We certainly expect him to get them. The shaft of his cue would have to pay a price if he doesn't get them. That's for sure. <laughs> wow. Oh, that was not good. That made things a little different. Yeah, he doesn't like it. He's talking to himself. Oh, boy. Trickled it in. I think he's going to cut the nine in and go three rails. Shoot the ten in the same pocket. No, he's kind of torn. He might cut it to his right also. He's looking at that. Uh-oh, he's gesturing to someone, asking someone to hold it down. <clears throat> I don't think you're supposed to do that. Make a fan feel bad. No, he's somebody else entered the arena. He's That's upsetting. I think he's going to play the shot that you described, the three-railer. Yeah, I think so. That's the most natural. Well, great shot. Real good shot. The people loved it. Fifth break and run out of the match for Mika Eminem. Pushes in front of Shane Van Boning nine games to eight.
Well, Shane's got his work cut out for him from here on in because Eminem is playing very, very well. This is the 18th rack. Shane the mistakes he's made have been more mental, not in terms of his execution. Good solid break. The dry. He left the shot. No, he, he left the bank. Meek is not about the bank. I got to snooker him. I got to put him on the uh, six ball. Hmm. Not a bad shot. He didn't get him with the, the six, obviously, but... Uh, I think he's got a shot at the one. But how do you get to the two? I guess you'd have to try to he's stop kicking. it with a nine. Well, he sold out. He's going to have a 2 10 combination, I believe. Ooh. He's got the angle to get there. <laughs> that is a long way from home there. I know. What are you going to do, though? He's got yeah. the angle to fall there. Well, I, I think he's going to have the 2 10. You got to really be right on it then. I think he's going to bank it. Yeah, Does that might be a better option. Well, I don't, no, I don't think either thing now. I think the two might go. You're right. A big wreck here for Mika. Yeah, he put himself on, on the hill. hill. Yeah. Got a little too thin on this ball, but it, it, it plays. He's going one rail to the five. Good shot, good speed. Yeah, great. Great stroke there. Supposed to get out now. Good chat. He's got a little funny angle. Just don't snooker yourself. He didn't want to gamble on snookering. Reach the hill, lead the match ten to eight. Real good run out there. Bless you.
19th rack. Mika breaks on the hill. Okay, seven and eight. Right behind the one ball. Eight ball in the pocket. Cue ball gets kissed around. The one's coming down by the cue ball. He's got a shot. I think he's got position, too. Yeah, the two's nearby. He's going to collide pretty heavy into the seven. That will slow down the progress of the cue ball. Oh, he was able to go right past the seven, so no problem that way. Three goes between the two balls. Good shot. Yeah, he landed in there really nice. He's going to draw it one rail. Good power to stroke. It's Perfect. effortless. Yeah, he, he gets plenty of spin. Got a perfect, perfect angle to get to the five. Overcut it. That was the one stroke. Yeah. That would have been the sixth break and run out of the match for Mika, though. That'd be terrible time to do that. Yeah. Very shocking, too. I thought he'd be out. Well, he, he made all the shots to get out and then just overcut that one a little bit. Too far. But he's okay if he can avoid the nine. Hmm. Yeah, there's, a, there's some issues here. <laughs> If he misses it, he will overcut it, is my prediction. Heart of the pocket. Good chat. He wants it to leave the cushion. He will. People appreciate that. Shane Bamboni, just a ball away from pulling back a game, trailing in the match. Nine games to ten. Bamboni will be breaking, and he really needs to get his break working better than it has throughout the match. Shane has broken twice and ran the table.
20th rack, Shane Brakes. Mika leads 10 to 9. All right, here we go, Danny. 1, 2, and 3 on the corners. 7 and 8 right behind the 1. Shane's got top spin on almost all of his brakes, breaking from right of the head spot. Didn't get the top spin on there that time. Six ball going to find the pocket. It is. He's going to oh, get a perfect. shot at the one. We got a little action going on here now. It's got a good chance to be Hill Hill. Yeah, he's got a ways to go. There's some things to do here yet. But he definitely has a chance to get to where you said. She's gonna go two rails to the three. It's almost looking like maybe he wants to go four rails here. I don't know if we can get the, I don't know if he can pinch it because then the speed control is not quite so critical. If he goes two rails, then the speed control becomes a, a big issue. Well, it looks like he is going two rails. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Well, Mika's lucky to be back at the table. Oh, yeah. Mika whizzed in the ball like this earlier in the match from way downtown, thin cut, back cut. No bargains here. No. The nine could help it. Doesn't offer much relief, though. Do you think Mika's shooting at it, though? Yes, he is. Way overcut it. This match got really funny, didn't it? Yeah. Three rails around. Good speed. Yeah, that was. Yeah, he can draw back a little and that perfect angle to get to the five off the four. I don't think he got there. No, I think he's got just enough. Yeah, he didn't get shoot the pocket. Yeah, he does. Okay. Got to shoot the port through the left side of the pocket. Yeah, you don't want the eight to get in the game. Yeah, I think he go one rail. this entire thing. Really, really interesting match. Looks like he's going to try to get on the end rail here, Danny. No, I think he could roll this in. Oh, he's got to get to the... What I'm saying, he wants the angle to just go, you know, from the end rail rather than stay high here and go... Thin cut on the eight. Yep, you got the angle you were talking about. Not an abundance of angle. Just enough. He's got yeah. enough. 
looks to be manageable. Center ball and hit the second diamond up there. Rather not fall perfectly straight in on the nine either, though. Uh-oh. Trouble. He went right in. He's in it. Oh, boy. That's the end of him. That was pretty careless. Well, it wasn't careless. It was kind of flat. Well, he, yeah. Pulled, you don't hit it that hard. Well, this is a shout out, Chris Castell. <laughs> Mika, he's you're making a, a joke, but he uh, wanted to grab the nine. <laughs> uh, Mika wanted to help you out getting the Kansas City, Chris. Or Shane did anyway. Glad you're tuned in with us. Well, match ball here for Mika Eminen. <laughs> uh, Mika letting out some uh, emotions. <laughs> some of them warranted, but anyway, he's happy. Four thousand dollars richer. This has been AccuStats video production. Any rebroadcast or republication without our written express permission is prohibited. Thank you for joining us today. That's our time for this time. So long. <laughs>